Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of our venture in the visual novel, If My Heart Had Wings Flight Diary. And here we are for the final installment of this particular novel slash game, if you will. And in that, as we carry over, we are going to be going through the chapter Inherited Wings, the Soaring Club epilogue. So without further ado, let us dive in and see what we got as all characters are involved. Sounds from outside were cut off, and the world suddenly seemed far away. It would appear that Kotori and Asa are in the glider this time. Asa's voice shook a little. Of course she was worried. Flight prep was all done. Someone gave Agaha the signal where she stood, holding the wingtip. She confirmed the runway was clear for takeoff. Roger. Here we go. Aoi's voice came through the radio. And the next moment... The tow cable jerked the glider forward, and we started to slide down the weed-covered runway. So, this might be Agaha's perspective. Not Agaha, Asa's perspective. Agaha ran along beside, holding up the wingtip. But the glider soon moved out of reach. It quickly picked up speed, and the nose started to lift up. Gently, Asa pulled on the yoke, and the wings cut into the wind to carry the glider up into the air. They had gained enough speed, so to reduce the effects of crosswind on the takeoff, she applied the aileron slightly. Or, I wonder if this is Kotori's perspective. Asa loosened the rudder as well and the glider bounded into the sky. Sky spread out just beyond the dome of their canopy. The sun sparkled off the clouds floating in the deep blue of the midsummer sky. As their altitude increased, they should have been getting closer, yet it was still so far. Dori came to her senses at the tension in Asa's voice. That's right. They were in the middle of a flight. Dori's gaze rose to the clouds towering over them. 
It was almost as if they were racing toward a huge mountain range, she thought. As she answered, Otori reached out to the sky. Lately, the sky had felt so far to her. The world spun as the glider circled, but the sky remained unchanged. Interesting. Inherited Wings, Sorry Club, Epilogue. Asa piloted the glider back to the runway about 30 minutes after takeoff. After a perfect landing, the others raced over to unlock the canopy. Welcome back, Asa! <laughs> yeah, I guess air conditioning's not possible. You've gotten really good. There was a crosswind, but your takeoff was all perfect. <laughs> After wanting it for such a long time, Asa had finally gotten her pilot's license. Since then, she had been getting better and better. She'd always had the enthusiasm and the sense for it. When Kotori is still sitting in her rear seat, started critiquing her, Asa's slack expression stiffened. I lent Kotori a hand getting down. Hey, look at that. Yo, she's on her feet, y'all. This is a celebration. That is a celebration. She is on her feet. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. She is on her feet. That is super awesome. After she'd gotten out of the cockpit, Kotori stood on her own two legs. Letting out a deep breath, she brushed back her shoulder-length hair. Her lustrous hair, now worn by the sun, fluttered in the air. She wasn't that tall, but she seemed somehow imposing when she stretched to her full height. Now, the narration said stroke. The, the narration literally said shoulder length hair. That hair looks a lot longer than shoulder length. Maybe some of the locks, but. Or some of that down there, but. Yeah, that's more than shoulder length. That's it. Asa groveled at these rare words of praise from the so-called Professor Demon. Next, I checked the conditions with Kotori, then called out to the younger members where they stood watching us. Harumi, it's your turn. Hi. He straightened his posture and took one step forward when he answered. Ah, some new characters. Uh, uh. He 
he squeezed into the front seat and quickly went through the pre-flight prep. I sat in the rear seat. ハルミちゃんが座ると、コックピットが窮屈そうよね。オフ。ハルミくん、朝ちゃんが30分だったから、せめて15分は持ち答えるんだよ。が、頑張ります。don't get too excited, okay? But Tori, could you close the canopy? Alright, here we go, Harumi. Hi! The glider climbed once more into the sky. It was the summer of my last year at school. Our last summer together. then. Bullet up and Moe novel. We flew until evening and then headed back to the hangar. We would check the glider the next day, so club activities were over for today. And everyone took it easy while we tidied up. そうね。難しいコンディションだったけど、ちゃんと対応できてたし。本当ですか？元々顔はいいから、もっとたくさん飛べたらすぐ上手くなると思うわ。今日は小鳥先輩がたくさん褒めてくださる。おまえ。よか
He apparently liked airplane models most of all. When he found out about the Keifu Soaring Club, he'd left all his basketball friends behind and enrolled here on his own. That passion was driving him to get his pilot's license through the Soaring Club, just like Otori and I had done. He had already gotten his learner's permit, and now he was in training to get the full license. However, he did have one weak point. Oof. <laughs> yep, he was prone to terrible motion sickness. He was apparently particularly weak to vertical sway, and today's flight had turned him white as a sheet. The rest of us had been secretly terrified he was going to hurl all over the cockpit. Wotori nodded in agreement. Harumi was good with his hands, a result of his model making. He was an ace at maintenance. As her chosen successor, Harumi was still in the middle of learning all Ageha had to teach. And there was one more new member. And the name? Haruka. And with that, let's find out about Haruka on the next episode. Oh my gosh, you know, could I be any more of a tease when it comes to these cliffhangers, I tell you. But that's really exciting to see Kotori is on her feet. That is really awesome indeed. But with that, I want to thank everyone for watching this video this time around. If you like what you saw, maybe consider leaving a like. And if you'd like to see more and you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of other productions to be released. And until next time, happy mixing, everyone.